Hey guys, Jock97 here, and this is the first in the tutorial series. This episode, I'm covering cannons, as you, I'm sure you can tell by the footage in the background, which is of our cannoning event which we previously held. This tutorial only covers basic TNT cannons and not hybrids. If you guys want me to, I'm sure I can cover hybrids in another tutorial. But onto the main part of the video, I hope you guys enjoy it, and please leave any feedback in the comments section below. To start off with, you will need some redstone, up to 9 repeaters, some TNT, a half slab, a bucket of water, a button, and any kind of building block. This structure is 10 blocks by 4 blocks. Set all of the repeaters to full delay as we can adjust this later. Once you've built the cannon, take a test shot so that you can gauge the distance and the amount of power needed. In this instance, I used 3 blocks of TNT to power the shot. As you can see, the TNT went miles over, which means that we need to reduce the power. To reduce the power, simply lower the amount of TNT that you place in the water stream. Once you've changed the strength of the shot, simply press the button again and gauge whether or not you need to alter it again. This time, the strength was perfect and the TNT reached the wall without going over it. However, the TNT blew up at the base of the wall, which is no good if all the chests are higher up. In order to cause the shot to blow up earlier, simply reduce the amount of delay on the repeaters by right clicking them. If the two sticks on the repeater are close together, that means that it is set to its minimum delay. Therefore, if they are further away, then that means there is more delay. The less delay, the earlier that the TNT will blow up. Adjusting this allows you to cause the TNT to blow up mid-air instead of hitting the wall and falling to the floor. As you can see, the TNT blows up higher up the wall, which allows you to get into the higher sections and steal all their goodies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. Please leave a comment telling me what I should have done better, what I could have done better, and which tutorial I should do next. Thanks for watching guys, bye.